Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I wanted to tell you about a vision I had. It, it seemed like a, a, there was a golden light, that, a beautiful golden light, that, and uh, it, it, it was so bright, it was so brilliant, it was like liquid gold. And you know how when gold is heated up, it, it gets kind of a fuzzy edge to it because of all the heat in it? It was a, it was like that only it wasn't hot, and there was there was that fuzzy edge to the brilliant liquid gold light all around, and then its form became very very dark like a cut out figure or shadow, and and the room was then you know, the light started expanding around the room and it was as if forms were were dark like that too very very dark and dense, and almost almost lightless. And the, all around them was this beautiful, flowing, vibrant, live gold light. <laughs> it was incredible, and it was a little odd to me, too, because I had always looked at, at bodies, you know. I didn't think about the air so much. I mean, once in a while. <laughs> but, but generally speaking, uh, um, I think of bodies as being alive, not the air, not the everything around them. But from the vision, I would say, um, it's as if our bodies were relatively lifeless. And um, as if the ego in the mental field are holding out the light and preventing it from flowing into the body. Um, the, the light that is everywhere, you know? And then I, I was trying to explain this, what, what I saw to some friends of mine, and it, it occurred to me it's like, it's like being at the bottom of the ocean, you know? And the water is all around, and there's all this pressure of the water to, to get into the physical body. But it's as if through uh, an extreme act of ego and will, we're holding the pressure of the water out, you know. It would be so much easier to just give up and let let the water in or let the light in. And so, from this point of view, <laughs> it is a pretty good vision. It must be very easy to let go and surrender if the whole, whole universe is made of light, right? 